Wednesday and welcome to a rainy Arran. I'm not in the shop this week, I'm out and about in the wilderness. Still can't find a razor, but I just thought I'd show you that I actually do go outside and straight from the lab. So over to you Karen for this week's newsletter. Bear girls, you ain't getting nothing. Take care. Karen from the Golf Performance Lab. It is chucking it down with rain outside. It's pretty awful. I'm here in the putting lab just to chat to you because Mr. Bell is having a well-deserved holiday this week, as is Hilary. So I hope they and the boys are doing really well and enjoying some time off. So what's happened at the golf club this week? We had the first medal passed on Saturday and we had the ladies had their first competition last Thursday. Luckily enough, the frost had gone enough for them to get their game played. Saturday, I think we're quite fortunate given that the frost had been there. So some great scores, I think 38 points, maybe it was a top score on Saturday. Um, I think that's right. So well done to those that played. The field wasn't full actually, so still some tea times, which is not really normal for East Kilbride Golf Club. So maybe some of you are just waiting for the warmer weather to come in. Um, we have Masters Week this week, keep calm, always that excitement for the season starting, typically we can smell the freshly cut grass at this time of the year and we know that the season is here or certainly coming. Um, so we have our Masters Sweep, we've got five names left as of right now, which is Tuesday, uh, so we've got five names left. Hopefully they will be gone by the time you maybe get this. Um, we had some guys that had managed to sneak in four names when they only paid for three. I think there was four people did that. Uh, so we had some names came back out because uh, we thought everything was all sold. And also we've just double checked the field to make sure we've got all the players that are playing in this year's championships to make sure everybody's got a proper runner in the game. So if you get this and we've still got names you can check out, we've got five names left. We were hoping to run a par 3 competition, watch this space just in case we do that. It's likely to be over the weekend or maybe for the rest of the month of April. Uh, we're just finishing off how we're going to do that best with managing time etc. But that'll be quite exciting. Uh, next I'm going to take you through some of what this gorgeous putting lab can offer you if you want to So it. in this section of the putting lab we have no alignment lines to help us with our aim. We have to go through that process ourselves. So we can have this part of the green flat or we can tilt it. So to begin with we want to start on the flat green and make sure again we can start the ball on our intended line and make sure we can hold some putts uh, where it's nice and flat. Um, obviously being um, mindful of distance control as well. And then we can tilt the green so that we can practice and have confidence to hold right to left and left to right putts. This also allows me as one of the only two certified aim point instructors in Scotland to teach people how to read the greens um, using the aim point express method, which um, is not recommended to do it by or how Keegan Bradley did it if you saw that one online. So I can teach people how to feel the slope, how we go through that process to read the green and uh, to get more accurate reads. Brilliant system. I've got a date in the diary for the 17th of April. But also, as I say, we can practice putting then with confidence to make sure we can get the ball in the hole right to left and left to right um, as well. So come in and you can practice your flat putts as well as your sloping putts. Learn to read the greens properly and your formal parts. Also in the lab, what we have with the well putt surface is we can practice direction and distance control. So what we have here just behind the ghost hole here is we have the good zone and that's in this light green area here. So for practicing perfect distance control, what we want to do is make sure the ball gets past the hole, certainly for putts that are 20 feet and shorter so that we know that the ball has got a good chance of dropping in the hole. So we can measure, are we typically quite good at getting in that good zone, or are we the person that just lets the ball dribble to the front of the hole, just pretty much like that. Um, and the problem is, is if we start leaving the ball as much as this has gone past the hole, it's not enough past the hole for it to have enough momentum to get over any potential crown or any late break where the ball just falls to the side. So we want to get into this good zone so that we can make sure 
that we've got enough energy in the ball to drop more putts in the hole. So come in and practice your distance. So here in this section of the putting lab, we've got our tilting floor, so we can practice some straight putts um, so that we know that we're good at being able to start our ball on our intended line, uh, making sure that the ball is going in the hole. And we can practice then sloping putts. I can teach people how to green read uh, with the Aimpoint Express method, not the Bradley or Keegan Bradley style, I should say. Um, so I can teach you how to read greens. I just pop this on here, and if I set the green to a little bit more sloping, and then I can learn to hit and build confidence that I can also hold putts that are right to left and that are left to right, again, controlling my distance as well past the hole. So we can work on sloping putts. My job for the newsletter done this week. Hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of what we can do in the putting lab. If you want to book in or if you'd like me to go over anything tips wise on putting, please let us know and I will try and include that in future newsletters. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the Masters this weekend if you're managing to watch. Don't forget, hopefully we'll have it in the clubhouse and for you to watch in there. Sky should hopefully be in by then. Uh, have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.